everyone. Myself, Prayag Patel, working as assistant professor in ITICT department of LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Now, in today's video lecture, we discuss about the making change problem. In our previous video lecture, we already find the answer for making change problem. How we can find the total number of coin and which coin is selected, we already discussed. Now, we check or compare this answer of our previous video lecture. Using shortcut method, you directly find the value of table in each and every element, means consider table name as a C, then find the value of C of 10, 11, 12, 13, up to 18, then second row, then third row, like this. Now, initially, we consider the row number 1, means we only consider, we have only one coin, D1 equal to 1, means many coin of 1 is available, but coin of 4 and coin of 6 is not available at that time. So here consider only number of coin available is 1. So consider location C of 1, 0. Now what is the value of C of 1, 0? In C of 1, 0, consider I equal to 1 and J equal to 0. So here row consider as a coin number and column consider as a making change for which amount means here consider column number 0 means change for 0 so column number 1 means change for 1 column number 2 means change for 2 up to column number 8 means change for 8 if you want to find the change for 0 1 2 3 up to 8 then consider the appropriate column now in location c of 1 0 consider column number one, column number 0 means only 0 pay or 0 money is required. So, if you want to make a change for 0, then no need to select any coin of 1. Okay. Now, here we put the value equal to 0 because for making change for 0, no coin is required. Now, next move to right side means consider location C of 1 1. Here consider C of 1 1 means only coin number 1 is available means D1 equal to 1 is available and we want to make a change for 1. So for making the change for 1, how many coin is required? Here only one coin is required. Now we put the value equal to 1. Now next consider the next location C of 1 3. Sorry C of 1 2. Here C of 1 2 means making column number 2 means we want to make a change for 2. So, for making a change for 2, we require how many coin? Here we consider 2 coin because 2 coin of 1 is required for find the change of 2. Now, next location is C of 1, 3. In C of 1, 3, we consider I equal to 1 means only coin number 1 is available, D1 equal to 1 and we want to find a change for 3 then how many coin is required for making a change of 3? Then 3 coin is required of 1. Means 1 coin of 1, then 2nd coin of 1 and 3rd coin of 1 is required for change of 3. Now next location is C of 1, 4. For C of 1, 4 consider only first row means consider only D1 equal to 1 is available. So how many coin is required for making a change for 4? 4 coin because only coin of 1 is available. So, next location is location C of 1, 5. In C of 1, 5, consider column number 5 means we want to make a change for 5. Then how many, how many coin is required for 5? So, total 5 coin is required and, and which 5 coin? Total 5 coin is coin of 1s. Now, next location is C of 1, 6. Now, what is the value of C of 1, 6? Here consider C of 1, 6 means row number 1 means consider only coin number 1 is available. And column number 6 means we want to find the change for 6 or pay for 6. Then we consider total 6 coin because only coin of 1s is available. So total 6 coin of 1s is required for making change of 6. Now if we want to find the change of 7 means consider column number 7, then total coin required for C of 17 equal to 7. 
because only one coin is available and total coin required for 7 equal to 7. Now next location is C of 1 8. In C of 1 8, column number considered as a 8. So total 8 coin is required for chain for 8. Okay, because only one once coin is available, remaining coin number 4 and coin number 6 is not available at that moment. So consider the first row as a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 like this. Okay. Now consider the second row. Here second row means I equal to 2 and D2 equal to 4. In second row, we consider coin number 1 and coin number 4 are available. Remaining coin means coin number 6 is not available. So here we consider or check the possibility in form of we select coin number 1 or we select the coin number 4 but we not select the coin number 6. Okay. Here consider the first location C of 20. In C of 20 consider column number as a 0. So no need to select any coin because if we want to change for 0, then no coin is required. Now, next location is C of 21. In C of 21, we want to change for 1. And we have the coin of 1 and 4. So, how many coin and which type of coin is required? Here for change for 1, only 1 coin is required and 1 coin is of 1s. Now, next location is 2, column number 2, means location 2, 2, row number 2 and column number 2. Here consider how many coin is required and then total number of coin required equal to 2 because here only 1 and 4 coin is available, 4 coin is not satisfy our condition. So we select the only coin of 1s means 2 coin of 1s is selected. Now next step is C of 2, 3. In C of 2, 3 consider the value equal to 3 means if we want to find the change for 3 then how many coin is required then we consider 3 coin is required and 3 coin is coin of 1s. Now next location is C of 2, 4. Remember this step in C of 2, 4 there are two possibility for selecting a coin. If we, you want to pay for 4 value 4 then how we can find the change. Here two possibility because we have the coin of 1s and coin of 4. So here consider here total coin required equal to 1. Why we select the 1? Because here two possibility. If we select the 1 coin of 4 or we select the 4 coin of 1s. So minimum number of coin is our answer. So here we put the 1 because 1 coin of 4 is minimum. Okay, now next is consider location C of 25. In C of 25, how many coin is required? We have the coin of 1 and coin of 4. Coin of 6 is not available at that moment. So we consider 1 coin of 4 and 1 coin of 1 is selected means total number of coin equal to 2. Second possibility of this step is considered as a 5 coin also. So 5 coin means total number of coin required equal to 5 but all the coin considered as a ones. So this is not a minimum solution. Our minimum or optimal solution considered as a 2. Now next step is C of 2, 6. In C of 2, 6, consider the value equal to 3. Here consider the coin of 1 and 4 is available and we want to pay for 6. Then we select 1 coin of 4 and 2 coin of, uh, two coin of ones. So total coin equal to 3. Now next one is location 2, 7. In location 27, consider total number of coin required equal to 4 because 1 coin of 4 is selected and 3 coin of 1 is selected. So total number of coin equal to 4. And last location C of 28 equal to 2. Here consider two way for making the change of 8. First way is 8 coin of 1. Then second way is 2 coin of 4. Then third way is for 1 coin of 4 and 4 coin of 1. So total number of coin equal to 5 also possible. But out of these three conditions, minimum value equal to 2. So here we consider only minimum value. Now next consider row number 3 means I equal to 3. 
and consider column number from 0 to 8. So initially consider row number 3 and column number 0 means block number 30. C of 30 equal to 0 because now in row number 3 consider D1 equal to 1, D2 equal to 4 and D3 equal to 6 means all the coin is available for execution. So here we select the coin 1 as well as 4 as well as 6. Now 0 consider as a column number 0. So here if we want to find the pay for 0 then no need to select any coin. Now next row is consider as a C of 3 1. In C of 3 1 consider 1 coin. If we want to find the change for 1 then we select the 1 coin of 1. Now next one is if we want to find the C of 3 2 means change for 2 we have the coin of 1, 4 and 6. All the coin are available. So we select the 2 coin of 1s. Okay. Because 4 and 6 is not possible because here consider J less than DI. Now next one is consider column number 3 and row number 3 means 3, 3. Here consider value equal to 3 because if we want to find the change for 3 then total number of coin required equal to 3 and 3 coin is 1s. Now next one is column number 4 and row number 3. Here consider the if we want to find the change for 4 then how many possibilities? Here consider first possibility is 4 coin of 1s and second possibility is select 1 coin of 4 and then second possibility is minimum because minimum number of coin is our optimal solution. So here value equal to 1. Now next location is C of 3, 5. In location C of 3, 5 consider here column number 5 then we want to make a change for 5 then consider all the coin is available 1, 4 and 6. So which coin is selected here? Here consider 1 coin of 4 and 1 coin of 1 is selected for making change of 5. Now next one is making change for 6 then which coin is selected? Here many possibilities are there. First one is we select the 6 coin of 1s. Then second possibility is we select the 1 coin of 4 and 2 coin of 1. And third possibility is we select the 1 coin of 6. And the best way is select the 1 coin of 6 because minimum number of coin is there. So here final answer equal to 1. Now next location is C of 3, 7. In C of 3, 7 how many coin is required for making the change of 7? Then we select the 1 coin of 6 and 1 coin of 1. Then consider total number of coin required equal to 2. Now next is change for 8. Means location 3, 8 consider here. Now column number equal to 8 means we want to find a change for 8. And we have the all the coins means coin number 1, coin number 4 and coin number 6. Then many possibilities are there. Here consider we select the all the coin of 1s. Then total coin required equal to 8. If we select 2 coin of 4, then number of coin required equal to 2. If we select 1 coin of 6, then we select 2 coin of 1. Means total coin equal to 3 also possible. So, but out of these 3, minimum solution is 2. Means we select the 2 coin and find the solution. Okay. We can directly find this solution without equation. But in exam you must write the equation and solve this example according to equation. But if you want to verify your answer or your table according to this method then you can perform this. Now next one is backtracking of this algorithm. In backtracking we start from last location means we start from location 38 and compare this location with upper location means here compare last location and upper location means 2 compare with 2 here both value are equal then move to upward means compare 2 with 8 here 2 and 8 is not same if both are same then we move upward but both are different then we select j minus di means j equal to j minus di so here consider 2 and 8 are different so select the ith element means select the d2 equal to 4 and move j from 8 to 4 means we select the 1 coin of 2 i equal to 2 means d2 equal to 4 is selected and move from column number 8 to column number 4. So here check the location 
2 for as a ij and compare location 2 for with upper location means ij compare with i minus 1j means here compare 1 with 4 here 1 and 4 are different so select the one coin of i means select the one coin of i equal to 2 means d2 equal to 4 is selected means we select second coin of d2 then we move left side means j equal to j minus di then we move from fourth column to column number 0 here in this step we reach at column number 0 and we already select the two coin in our last step or last block value equal to 2 and we already select the two coin of 4 then no need to perform any operation now here we solve the some example of the making change problem like first example is solve a making change problem using dynamic programming consider the dimensions is 2 4 5 and amount to pay equal to 7 means here consider d1 equal to 2 d2 equal to 4 and d3 equal to 5 and pay for 7 means capital n equal to 7 in this case we consider the second initial condition in which we write the infinitive if the value is not possible so in this example this case is happened now second example is solve the making change problem using dynamic programming consider the dimensions of coin is 1 4 and 7 and amount to pay equal to 7 also we solve this some example like third example coin dimensions is 1 3 5 6 and amount to pay equal to 8 and last example is solve the making change problem using dynamic programming consider the coin dimensions is 1 2 4 6 and amount to pay equal to 10 thank you for watching this video